Hello. I'm going to try and explain the guitar with the use of the piano so that we understand it better. If we take the guitar and we look at the guitar, it has frets and it has six strings. Now that is rather difficult for us to understand. If I was to play a particular note, what are we playing? I don't know. So the easiest way to understand the guitar is to understand the piano. Now notes in music only go as far in the alphabet as A to G. There's no X, Y, Z. There's only A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And the reason it's easy to understand on the piano is because you've got nice patterns. We have we have a two note, three notes, black notes, two, black notes, three, two, three, two, and in between we have all the white notes. If we can transpose that onto the guitar, it helps us understand what we're playing on the guitar. So you have the alphabet, A, B, C, D, F, G. Where do we find the A on the piano? If we look at the three notes, yeah, the three black notes, right, that note there is an A. And it will always be the same on the next three notes. It's just an octave higher. So, how do we transpose that to the guitar? Well, let's have a go. Let's take an E, which is what our bottom string on the guitar, if I can get that in the picture, our bottom string here, the sixth string, is tuned to an E. They should sound the same. It shouldn't sound like this. So if I tune the sixth string on the guitar to this E, I've got my first string in tune. Great. So how does it work? We know the bottom string's E. We know that we go E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. So the E, if we hold one more fret on the guitar, that should go to the F. If we hold the next fret on the guitar, that should go to F sharp, and then goes to G. Again, G sharp. So that's a G, there's a G sharp, and the next string is an A. We can continue all the way up on that string, going up just, just like that. But whoever invented the guitar decided that we'd have more than one string. And the fifth string, he decided to tune to an A. So that is... Again, the same principle applies. Just got one fret is one note at a time. A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D. So, the way it works with the guitar is the strings are tuned to E, A, D, G, B, E. e. On the piano. E. Not D. E. So that's great, but, but how do we work chords? We've learned how to understand what this is all about up here, but we don't necessarily work out how we play chords. Well, if we take, for example, a C chord, it's nice and simple. 
it's normally a combination of a C, the third, which is an E, the fifth, which is a G, and the eighth, which again is a C, which is an octifier. If we want to play a chord, we have to look for combinations of those notes. If you wanted to play a C minor, which is the third dropped to the D sharp, or the E flat, we'd have to look for those combination of notes. So to play a C, we need a combination of a C, an E, a G, A, B, C, C, E, G, C, C, E, G, C. So to find on the guitar that combination, C, E, G, C, well we know we've got an E, bottom E, top E, great, we've got two notes of the chords. We could actually hold a finger on the third fret, and we go C, F, F sharp, G, well we know, well we know we want a G. So if I hold a C, if we take the A, A sharp, B, C. So if I hold that string there at that fret, I've actually got the C. Now what do I do with the D? Well if I go up two frets, D, D sharp, E, D sharp, E, I'm now holding an E note. So, so far I've got the G which is open, a B, move it up one fret, becomes a C. And the top note which is an E. This is how we work out chords on the guitar, by taking the piano, looking at the notes that we need, and getting the corresponding notes on the guitar. So that is just a start of how you try to understand the guitar. Use the piano, because it, the patterns help you see things clearly. The three, the two, the three, the two, all the right notes, and we only have the notes A to G. Now I may try and produce this in a much better format, this was just a, a one-off to try it, see how it works. Uh, if anybody likes this or doesn't like it, then I can either take it down or I can start making it a, a better process. But what I want you to do when your first guitar lesson is to understand what you're playing in this difficulty of frets and strings. At least you'll know if you take the B string, which is the second one, and you hold it one fret up, it becomes a C becomes a C. So hopefully that might get you started understanding what's going on. If you want me to do more, just let me know. If you don't like it, fair enough, I won't do any more. Hope that helps. Thank you.